hello and welcome back guys today in this video we are going to analyze supermarket sales data so let me import the data first i will choose the data set and this data set i have obtained from the kaggle and this data set also i'll be uh, i have provided in the description box please look into that and practice along with me so i'll choose this data set as it is present in sheet one and i'll click on transform i'll do some changes in order to do those changes i have to click on transform data i'll click on it and it will take some time to get loaded into the power bi and as you can see that around thousand rows are there including header and 17 columns are there so let me quickly check if everything is fine okay so there is cox so this is nothing but cost of goods so let me change this name and before that this gross margin percentage and gross income it is the redundant column so let me remove that one as well i'll click right click and remove and let me change this cost of goods and if you see the other uh, attributes or columns uh, that those are fine it looks fine to me and there are payment with the payment with modes or like three types of payment modes are available if you look, in, look into this data set this is pretty much clear and self-explanatory there are five percent tax quantity unit price and gross income gross margin percentage so those i have removed gross margin and gross income and rate are also there so this looks fine so i'll close and apply So once it is loaded, it will be in the data view. It is in the data view. So there are three pane data view and modeling and the last one is reporting. So let me quickly go back to the modeling and uh, no, I have to go to the report to generate this report so let me take one visualization and start building one by one the entire dashboard so before that i'll take one table and i'll bring this on the report page let me change this data set name from sheet one to supermarket data let me write it supermarket sales and hit enter so now our data set is ready let me bring product line and the total total sales so this total sales is including the uh, tax so i'll uh, write this as total sales including tax so let me quickly take this tax five percent that is also in a separate column let me expand this table a bit so that both we can see side by side tax along with the total sales along with the tax let me expand a bit let me go back quickly to the data and i'll show you how uh, this is being calculated so it is nothing but unit price multiplied with quantity along with tax it will give the total the total sales including the tax so let me calculate that now we have unit price 58.22 i have to multiply with the quantity that is 8 and it is giving 465.76 that is present over here cost of goods so this is only the price of the goods that we have sold and this is a 5% tax so if i add that is 23.288 it will give us the total value of 489.048 as you can see there so it is verified that total column is nothing but the cost of good plus tax 
so let me quickly change this attribute name from total i'll double click on it and i'll write it as total including taxes hit enter so as you can see the attribute name also has changed now let me go to the report view and create some more visuals what i'll do i'll create a virtual column that is basically not any physical column uh, and that i'll be calculating using the new measure so for that i'll click on new measure and i'll show you how we can create the same total sales including tax and excluding tax so for that i'll click on new measure i'll write the i'll give this column name as sales plus product so this i'll be calculating using the calculated function from power bi or the tax query whatever you say so i'll write the calculate and expression is sumx so sumx will calculate in row by row so for that i'll choose the table expression that is supermarket sales i'll choose the expression first is table so i have given the table name supermarket sales and expression is i have to multiply quantity with the unit price so here unit price also from the sales table so let me quickly take that one as well so i am basically multiplying quantity along with the price i'll close this and hit enter and it will calculate the price this price is excluding the tax because i have not written any tax part so let me quickly bring this to table and show you how this looks like so this is without with the with tax and this is without tax let me uh, copy this entire formula but before that let me include this tax part as well so that this will uh, we can create another new calculated column and that i can use for one i'll be using without tax and another one i'll be using with tax so product plus tax and another one is product without tax let me uh, complete this entire calculated column so i'll add the tax part along with this product cost so let me quickly change this column name only product and that is using calculated method or the calculated function so i'll write over here plus the tax part so i'll come to the end of the formula and i'll put plus sign and i'll enter the five percent tax that is from the supermarket sales table so again i'll choose the sumx i'll choose the sumx and this is from the table supermarket sales i'll choose that table i'll put comma and expression is nothing but five percent tax so once i write tax it will auto populate i'll close this bracket and hit enter now let me copy this entire one and i'll paste it to the new measure so that that will give us only uh, that will give us the product along with the tax so let me I copied that one to the to my clipboard and let me remove that and hit enter key now let me click on new measure and paste which i already copied only i'll change the name of this column tax plus product and hit enter as you can see that we have obtained our attribute let me quickly bring to the visual and expand this table as you can see now it is exactly matching with the total column total column is including taxes and tax plus product dot cost also product plus tax amount let me uh, okay so one column has without taxes and another column has with taxes so let me change this column name for like give a suitable column name so let me write it as sales plus tax 
and this column let me write it as sales minus tax sales minus tax and hit enter okay now is look look looking good and and i have showed you that how we can create a calculated column using the formula uh, calculate function so let me quickly bring is it to the down so that we can create some more visuals i'll click on donut chart and bring product line along with the quantity so as you can see there are six fields are there six product lines are there i'll bring these two filter pane and i'll choose from basic filtering top end so i'll choose three top three basically instead of six products line i want to see only the top three category and that is based upon the sum of quantity and i'll apply on filter as you can see it has filtered out the top three product lines so let me quickly go to the title i'll click on general i'll go to the title and i'll write the title name as top three product products by sale so i'll delete this and i'll write it sales yeah that is that looks good and i'll bring it to the down down right hand side i'll click on donut chart and bring total sales along with the customer type so i want to see the member and non-member of the of this data set so i'll bring one more page and in that i'll add the table and i'll choose this product line along with this sum of unit price so let me click on this sum of unit price and change it to the average so i basically wanted to see the product line along with the unit price but i want to average them so here also i'll use the top in the top three product line and that is based upon the unit price of each section so basically apply on filter and i'll copy and paste the same table again to create a donut chart so that i don't have to create repeatedly i don't have to drag and drop every time so it is very much easy so i'll copy and paste it over here once again and this time i'll instead of top end i'll choose the bottom end so i'll click on this product line instead of top i'll choose the bottom three and i'll click on apply filter but before that let me change this to average because we are calculating the average unit price and click on apply filter so similarly i'll do this for this one as well i guess yeah instead of sum i have to click on average i'll copy this uh, the second table and i'll paste it over again to create a bottom three product lines i'll copy and paste it over here and i'll change this from table view to i'll copy and paste it over here i'll bring it down and from table i'll click on donut so it will convert to the donut chart and this legend part header also we can change uh, that's upon you that if you want to do or not i'll bring another page let me bring some kpi cards these kpi cards are very much helpful to uh, give the all the overall numbers so let me bring this gender and from gender i'll choose count now it's giving the total male and female so i'll bring this gender over here and choose only the females so that it will give the total female counts i'll go to the fields and i'll change the total female customers and hit enter i'll copy this and paste it over here to bring another duplicate version of it and this time instead of female i'll choose male and i'll write this title as total male customers i'll go to the filter pane and i'll choose instead of female i'll choose male 
that will give us the total mail can mail customers let me bring few more visuals few more kpi cards and this time we'll choose the total tax including tax total sales including taxes total sales excluding taxes and the and only taxes so i'll copy and paste all this uh, same kpi cards to to uh, give that how many how much total sales including tax how much total sales without tax and to only the tax so in this case i'll change this total tax total sales including tax and this will be total sales including tax so first kpi card is total with tax second kpi card is total sales without tax and this third one i'll remove this and choose this tax five percent and this time i'll write it as total tax paid hit enter key so that's all for now and now let me bring another donut chart and this time i'll choose payment along with the product line so let me bring these two value section product line and i'll choose this count so it is already over there count so that is fine so i'll click on it i'll expand a bit so that we can see it more clear okay so i'll bring few more donut charts to depict what is inside so for that i'll go to the uh, this data and i'll create a conditional column based upon this ratings so I, what i'll do i'll go to the home and i'll click on transform so that we can create a conditional column based upon the rating so if it is any rating is below 5 we can keep bad if anything uh, above 5 but below 7.5 so that we can give it as good and if anything above 7.5 i can give as uh, best so in this case i'll give the column name as customer satisfaction and i'll choose if rating column is below 5 then it should be bad i'll add another clause if rating column is uh, above 7.5 and below uh, above 5 and below 7.5 7 so then it, this will be good so i'll write it as good and i'll go to the else part i'll write otherwise it is best best customer satisfaction so i'll click on ok and it will quickly bring that conditional column as a new column over here as you can see all the three is there so let me quickly verify some of the entries this should be good yeah this should be best and if anything below five that should be bad over here and i'll click on home close and apply it will bring that table over here i'll go to the report view and i'll bring that customer satisfaction column over here customer satisfaction i'll click on it and i'll bring that customer satisfaction to the value section and i'll expand a bit i'll remove this legend header so i'll click on this and put a blank space and hit enter so it will remove that one so i'll change this payment to payment mode from the legend part as well and i'll click on donuts so i'll bring another visuals so let me take this time sales plus tax along with the product line so again i'll i'll choose the top three and this time i'll choose I'll, uh, for that i have to go to the filter pane i'll bring this product line to the filter pane and i'll choose instead of uh, basic filtering i'll choose the top three and that is based upon the sales plus tax i'll bring over here and apply filter and same thing i'll do with the bottom three so i'll copy this visual and paste it over here 
so that I don't have to re repeat this entire process. I'll go to the visual and go to the header. I'll change this first as top three products. Top three sales by products. Okay, that is fine. Hit enter. I'll copy and paste the same visual. And this time it will be bottom three sales of products. So instead of top, I'll choose the bottom three and apply filter. I'll resize them, resize it and this looks good, okay, I have changed the header as well, I'll bring another donut chart and this time with gender and I'll take gender count in the value section, it should be count of gender, yeah, that is, that will give us a female and female, okay, so, I'll go to the format visual, click on general, click on title and I'll modify the header that should be count of gender. I'll collapse this pane and let me bring this to the top so that we can create another visual. So let me resize them to create some space. I'll click on this column chart and I'll bring the product line along with the sales, the total sales and I'll bring the gender in the legend part because I want to see the total sales based upon the gender, who preferred or who purchased uh, the product wise, category wise, male and female sales. So I'll cop make a copy of it and this time I'll change to the stack bar chart and let me quickly turn on the detail labels or data label so I'll click on this go to the format visual and I'll click on data labels it will show the percentage in terms of percentage and for second one also I'll turn on the data label and this will give the total purchase or the total sales so this is fine okay so what i'll do i'll create another chart that is the peak sales so for that i'll click on this area chart so for peak sales i'll choose the time and along with the total like total uh, price the total sales including taxes so in this case also i'll bring that time in the filter section and I'll choose uh, top 3 and this will give us the top 3 peak time of based upon the total sales so I'll bring these total sales over here and apply filter so if I hover over our cursor in the in this uh, chart so we can see that around 242 like in between 2 to 3 pm our sales it was the highest time uh, highest sales time so let me uh, change this title as well for that i'll go to the format i'll go to the general and click on title so i'll write it as peak time for sales peak time for sales and hit enter so now our visual is ready so let me quickly create a dashboard page and bring all the important charts or important visuals together to give a overview of this data set analysis of this uh, data set so i'll give this name as dashboard and i'll quickly cut from the other three pages and bring all these charts in this dashboard so i'll cut and control v from my keyboard i'll quickly rearrange all these charts so that we can accommodate all the important visuals in 
together all together so i'll go to the previous page and bring all these donut charts let me quickly select and control x from the keyboard and do a control v over here so i'll arrange and resize them based upon the space availability So I'll take these KPI charts and I'll uh, bring them to, to the dashboard as well. I'll quickly rearrange them. Okay, I'll take the text box and for because I have to write the header, I'll choose the comic sans and I'll I'll write first the supermarket sales and I'll choose this and I'll choose 32 as size. I'll give color sales as red. So I'll first select that and from the color pane, I'll go to the more color and I'll choose this dark red. We'll take the red, red one and click on bold and I'll give the supermarket as uh, green color so I'll, in same way I'll select this I'll give the more color from more color I'll choose the green color and I'll make it bold and I'll make this entire text in the right hand side so I'll select it and click on this bold and I'll select this and click on this right side icon and I'll create a small GIF over here. So uh, for that, I have created, created a space. So let me bring this big time sales. I'll cut at this and paste it over here in the dashboard as well. And I'll paste it and bring it to the middle. And let me quickly adjust all of them and give some white space around these all charts. So before that, I'll click on this background I'll create a background picture I'll insert basically so I'll click on this canvas background and I have already pre-downloaded a background chart so I'll click choose that I'll choose from normal to fit and transparency I'll make it as around 50% so as you can see that background our picture has appeared and I'll create the around this each chart I'll create the space and I'll do some formatting so I'll go to the general I'll go to the title and increase this title font size click on bold bring it to the middle and same, same thing we'll do for X and Y axis so let me quickly go to the X and choose the value so again I'll do the same thing I'll increase this font size a bit and choose bold the color I'll choose from choose dark black and same thing will be applying in the Y axis. So same process will go for the Y axis. I'll pull up this X axis and expand this Y axis. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll do same same uh, repeating steps. I'll choose the dark black, and this is fine. So I'll go to the grid line and I'll remove these grid lines from this chart. So I'll turn off these horizontal and vertical grid lines. It will disappear, and I'll collapse this. And what I'll do, I'll choose this transparency as 50, not 50%, I'll choose this as 20% so that it will be 
good i'll do the format painted and click on the other visual so that same steps will be applied so it has gone the data level so i'll turn on this detail level so i'll do the format painter and apply them to the rest of the donut charts and also in the uh, kpi cards and so that it will take the uh, it will take it will make them semi transparent i'll quickly resize them okay I'll go to the title section and I'll write it as customer satisfaction instead of E it should be A satisfaction yeah mm, hit enter this is fine I'll resize them so let me remove this legend name I'll go to the visual go to the legend I'll remove this and instead of that I'll put a blank space let me resize this peak time cells and I'll rearrange these KPI cards. Okay. So now, now I'll turn on this 3D effect, the shadow effect. Okay. Now let me insert a button because I want to bring, I want to give some more dynamic touch with this visual so i'll resize them i'll go to the style and come to the bottom i'll choose fill and from the fill i'll choose a dynamic icon dynamic picture so i'll browse and it is already over there that is the gif and i'll choose instead of normal i'll choose fit and I'll try to adjust this transparency around 15 to 20 percent so that it will be uh, it will adjust or it will uh, cope up along with this entire background i'll choose the color the best suits to it in order to match with the texture and the formattings so i'll choose this around maybe 15 percent this looks fine and I'll quickly adjust this so that uh, this picture will be in the left hand side and this text supermarket sales uh, text will be in the right hand side and it should look both side by side so that uh, it will not overlap on each other so let me collapse these panes to give more rooms for these visuals I'll click on this to fit to the page this is almost ready and let me bring this format section I'll do a little bit of change changing in the visuals so what I'll do I'll turn off this border for this picture and adjust these visuals to the bottom little bit down and I'll adjust this one as well sum of total cells okay this is good okay and I'll quickly change these colors I'll give females as pink and male I'll give as um, blue so I'll choose light pink pink for female and male should be little darker blue this looks good okay and same thing i'll do apply for this tag bar chart i'll go to the bars and i'll choose for female i'll choose pink that we have used for the last time and for male i'll choose this blue so same thing i'll apply for the gender as well so i'll choose again slices and click on this pink 
and this one I'll choose whoever mail the blue yeah this looks fine and I'll apply on the the top three cells so I'll give green for the food and for sports for electronics I'll give the red so and for sports and travel I'll give yellow for electronic exercise I'll give the red now it looks good this this chart is fine so same thing I'll apply for customer satisfaction if it is good then I'll give it a, is as yellow if it is best then I'll choose uh, the green if it is bad then it will choose a red so let me quickly do this okay and same thing for count of like uh, for the payment mode also I'll choose the same pattern of uh, red green and yellow so for this cash I'll choose green for wallet for credit card I'll choose the red uh, okay for credit card it is um, give me one second okay so so for credit card I have given the um, yellow for you wallet I have given as blue okay let me resize this one and let me change this title because it is not top three products sales it is the last three sales uh, by product so let me change this to last three sales by products and for the next chart also instead of top three sales of products i will write it as top three sales by products and our visual is ready so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye